the sun, a drowsy orb, peeked over the horizon, casting a golden glow that slowly spread across the sky. Kochi, draped in the soft hues of dawn, was waking up. The cityscape, bathed in the early morning light, seemed to stretch and yawn, ready to embrace the new day. Palm trees swayed gently, their fronds whispering secrets to the breeze. Each rustle seemed to tell a story of the night's dreams and the day's promises. The air, still cool and fresh, carried the scent of salt and sea. It was invigorating, a reminder of the ocean's vastness and the mysteries it held. It was a morning like any other, filled with the promise of a new day. The light was soft yet promising, hinting at the adventures and challenges that lay ahead. Children, backpacks slung over their shoulders, walked with their parents, their laughter echoing in the quiet streets. Their voices were like music, a joyful symphony that added life to the serene morning. Little did they know, this day would unfold a tale of courage and quick thinking. The ordinary would soon become extraordinary, as events would test their mettle and resolve. The turquoise waters of the Arabian Sea shimmered, reflecting the emerging sunlight. Each ripple seemed to dance with the light, creating a mesmerizing display of nature's beauty. Fishing boats, their sails unfurled, dotted the horizon. These vessels, symbols of tradition and livelihood, moved gracefully across the water, ready for the day's catch. The aroma of spices wafted from nearby shops, a sensory symphony unique to this vibrant port city. The rich scents of cardamom, cinnamon, and cloves mingled in the air, telling tales of far-off lands and ancient trade routes. Life in Kochi moved at its own leisurely pace, a gentle rhythm that resonated with the ebb and flow of the tide. The city's heartbeat was slow and steady, a comforting cadence that embraced all who lived there. But on this seemingly ordinary day, fate had a dramatic story to tell. The calm would soon give way to excitement, as the day's events would unfold in unexpected ways, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of those who witnessed them. A yellow school bus, its exterior gleaming in the morning light, rumbled across the bridge. The sun's rays danced on its surface, casting a warm glow that signaled the start of a new day. Inside, children, their faces a mix of excitement and sleepiness, chatted amongst themselves. Some were eagerly discussing their plans for the day, while others yawned, still waking up from their early morning slumber. The bridge, a concrete artery, pulsed with the city's lifeblood. Cars and buses moved in a steady stream, each vehicle a part of the city's daily rhythm. Beneath it, the water flowed, a silent witness to the daily drama of urban life. The river, calm and steady, mirrored the hustle and bustle above. Suddenly, a plume of smoke, black and acrid, began to rise from the rear of the bus. It was an unexpected and alarming sight, breaking the morning's tranquility. It billowed out, a sinister cloud against the azure sky. The contrast between the dark smoke and the clear blue sky was stark and unsettling. Panic, sharp and sudden, seized the children. Their cheerful chatter turned into cries of fear and confusion as they realized something was terribly wrong. They coughed, their eyes stinging from the smoke. The acrid smell filled their lungs, making it hard to breathe and see. The air inside the bus grew thick and heavy, making it difficult to breathe. Each breath was a struggle, the smoke choking and oppressive. The idyllic morning scene was shattered, replaced by a sense of urgency and fear. The peaceful start to the day had turned into a nightmare. The bus driver, his heart pounding in his chest, knew he had to act quickly. He glanced at the rearview mirror, seeing the fear in the children's eyes and steeled himself to take immediate action. The driver, a man named Anil, remained calm amidst the chaos, his demeanor a stark contrast to the panic around him. His weathered hands, accustomed to navigating the city's bustling streets, gripped the steering wheel with a firm resolve, a testament to his years of experience. Years of driving had honed his instincts. He knew every turn, every incline, every twist of his route. The city was like a second home to him, each street a familiar friend. Pulling over to the side of the bridge, he brought the bus to a stop with precision, his actions deliberate and controlled. His first priority, etched clearly in his mind, was the safety of the children entrusted to his care. He knew that in moments like these, every second counted. His voice, usually calm and reassuring, now boomed with authority as he ordered the children to evacuate. Leave your belongings, he commanded, his tone leaving no room for hesitation. Get out of the bus now, he repeated urgency lacing his words. The children, their faces pale with fear, scrambled out of the bus, their backpacks and lunchboxes forgotten in the rush. 
The children, their faces pale with fear, scrambled out of the bus, their backpacks and lunchboxes forgotten. They moved quickly, driven by Anil's commanding presence. Anil, his eyes scanning the bus, ensured every child had disembarked safely. He counted each one, his heart pounding with the weight of responsibility. His own safety was secondary, his duty paramount. In that moment, Anil was not just a bus driver, he was a guardian, a protector, ensuring the well-being of those in his care. The wail of sirens cut through the air, a sound that sent shivers down their spines. The fire department, alerted to the emergency, arrived on the scene, their red truck a beacon of hope in the escalating crisis. Hoses were unfurled, their brass nozzles gleaming under the sun. Water, a powerful force, arced through the air, crashing onto the inferno that had engulfed the bus. The fire, starved of oxygen, began to subside. The acrid smell of smoke hung heavy in the air, a stark reminder of the danger that had been averted. Anil, his face streaked with soot, watched as the firefighters worked tirelessly to extinguish the last of the flames. Relief washed over him, a wave that left him weak at the knees. He had done it. He had saved them all.